In my last random bits, I opened up a lot of laptop batteries and found some medium quality cells, but also just some really interesting cells. Well, I've also been coming across these battery packs, and every time I come across these old ones from late, the late 1990s or the early 2000s, I keep getting just bad cells from them. They're all dead, and they're just kind of worthless. I, I felt bad for getting this last one. I'm just going to not buy them from now on, probably. But then I opened it up, and surprisingly enough, this one actually has some surviving cells. For instance, let's see if I can do this. Three volts. Two volts. Three volts again. I think this cell's dead. Yeah, that one's dead. So these three cells are dead, but these other nine cells are still good. And let's look at the date code. The first three digits mean something that I'm not really sure of. This digit, the H, means what year it was. And this means 1999, because I think they started in 1991 as A, and 2008 is Q, so H would be 1999. I would be, well, that's the month, so A is January, so I is September, so this was made September 13th, 1999. And here's the brand of the cells. They're Sony Energetic STG US18650GR. Sony kept making the US18650GR series, but I haven't seen any newer ones labeled Sony Energetic. These are SF US18650GRs, and the date code, I believe they've added some numbers on the later date codes over here, but these, this ending part still is roughly the same. That's M, so M would be 2003 or 2004. H would be August. So it's August 18th, 2004. But back to these batteries. They're a pretty interesting specimen from 1999, over 15 years old, and, well, just really interesting. Let's see how much capacity they have. And there we have access to all the connections. So I have the battery pack over here in my charging area. Let's turn on the power supply. Let's go to nickel cadmium. Uh, I mean, let's go from nickel cadmium to lithium. I bring up the charge current to two amps. Damn. Too low voltage, so let's go over to. Uh, it said it was three volts, though, I thought. That's weird. Let's go to nickel cadmium. There we go. Let's charge it with nickel cadmium for a little bit until it gets a little bit higher voltage. Then we'll switch back to lithium and charge it. So now that it's been charging for a little bit, just a tiny bit. We'll go back and let lithium let it charge because now the voltage should be high enough to where it tricks the internal settings or the internal like voltage detection or whatever. So these three cells are done charging and they've taken up a lot more capacity than the IMAX P6 counter is showing because I forgot and left the setting on that stops at 3000 milliamp hours. So it stopped at 3000 milliamp hours and I started it again. So now it's at 5176 plus that th uh, when you add that three amp hours that it took. So pretty much each cell took 1750 milliamp hours to charge. Now the big question is, was that symmetrical? Go to discharge and discharge at one amp, so we'll actually be discharging it at a third of an amp per cell. We're discharging until the voltage gets down to three volts. Because to be honest, when the voltage gets down to three volts over this somewhat resistive wire, I think this thing's kind of out of balance, out of calibration or something like that. So basically, when this is reading three uh, three volts, this is actually like 3.15 volts. 
and then whenever it stop, whenever it reaches there and stops, these bounce back up to like 3.6 or see 3.7 volts, depending on their internal resistance, of course. But yeah, I'm go I'm gonna bring them down to three volts because that will actually pop them back up to 3.6 whenever I pu stop pulling power from them. Let's see how that goes. Oh, I almost forgot that I forgot to turn off the capacity cutoff. I took out 1,020 milliamp hours, so we'll just add that to whatever result we get. So that test is done, and it's given me 4,700 milliamp hours of capacity and three huh oh put on the lithium setting i just realized that this knockoff imax b6 which it's it's arguable because I, I think pretty much every imax b6 is crap but it's useful crap but either way this one whenever they stole the programming code for it and put it on this cheap one over in china they messed up the lithium polymer discharge to where it doesn't cut off when it reaches three volts it just lowers the amperage so it just it drains it to exactly three volts <sighs> forgot it. for this i usually go to the nickel cadmium and then go to three volts because that one they got the pr programming code correct on that one so i say let's just say it had about four thousand amp hours each so it's about like 1200 to 1300 milliamp hours per cell and that's pretty good actually and that's still like three-fifths or even two-thirds of the original capacity because i think these originally had 1800 milliamp hours of capacity that's pretty cool for being 15 years old i can do a better test later on to get a better number but this is just showing that it these cells are actually working that's good enough for me well if you guys happen to have any other cells that are even older and still working i would love to hear about them Hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. See ya!